Where is the best place to invest in property? Well, we've talked about our hotspots in a previous video, but there are some other areas that are underrated by property investors. They're not on most investors' radar, and they should be. We're going to be revealing those to you right now. So first on our list of underrated areas is Derby. Derby so often overshadowed by its neighbour Nottingham, which we've consistently picked as one of our best areas to invest in. But Derby doesn't deserve to be left in the shadows. For a start, Derby is very easily commutable to Nottingham, so it has all the benefits that Nottingham does, but it's also got plenty going on for it in its own right. As well as a university, it's got several major employers, which contribute to average wages in Derby being in the top 10 in the UK. Despite that, house prices in Derby are currently relatively low, making its affordability for both owner-occupiers and investors particularly good. So even though Derby tends to get overlooked, we believe it's somewhere that's going to increasingly become on the map for property investors. Next on our list is Crewe. Just like Derby, it has lots of major employers, so employment levels are really strong in Crewe. It's also one of the best connected towns in the UK. The West Coast Railway Line runs right through Crewe, which means it's got direct and fast trains into London and direct trains into Manchester and Liverpool and beyond. So connectivity is really strong and the M6 is easily accessible as well. So you've got lots of warehouses in and around Crewe, lots of employment in and around Crewe, which means that we're surprised when we look at property prices because they are modest. Crewe is improving all the time and we don't think it'll be long before property prices catch up and yields are still attractive. Now, Crewe is great right now, but HS2 is on the cards. And if that goes ahead and it reaches Crewe, then Crewe won't be one of the best connected towns in the UK. It'll be the best connected town in the UK. It means that Manchester, Liverpool, Birmingham will all be commutable in less than half an hour and London will be commutable in less than an hour. That could be a game changer for the town. So it's great as it is now, but the future is also exciting. Rob, I see your well-connected town in Crewe and I raise you Doncaster. Doncaster, I'm sure, has a lot going for it, but the main thing it's got going for it is its location. Doncaster is practically in the middle of the UK. It's also on the major train line into London and it's slap bang between the A1M and M18 motorways. That means it is a huge hotspot for logistics. More and more companies are basing themselves there and basing their warehouses there because it's really easy to get goods anywhere in the country very quickly. Just as one example, Amazon has got at least three separate warehouses in Doncaster and it keeps taking on more space all the time for that exact reason. And plenty of other companies have their distribution centers there as well. That means that more and more people are being attracted to the area for work, which means, of course, demand for property and therefore prices and rents are going up. Whenever we list property to rent in Doncaster on a site like Rightmove, we almost need to take cover because the phones just start going mad. The rental market in Doncaster is so strong and we don't see any signs of that changing. Despite that, it's not somewhere that gets talked about much when it comes to a property investment and that's why it's made our list of underrated areas. Well, I didn't realise we were competing on areas, but if that's the case, then I'll take your rental hotspot and I'll re-raise you with Stockport. Stockport might be the number one rental hotspot in the UK right now. We have coverage across the UK and Stockport is unbelievable. Whenever we list anything to let, it flies. It's such a strong rental market. But that's not the only reason why we really like it because Stockport is underrated. It's overshadowed by its big brothers, Manchester and Salford. But Stockport has loads going for it. First of all, it's super quick to commute into Manchester, less than 10 minutes on the train. And that train is the same train that runs on to London. So you've got quick connections into London as well. It's really close to Manchester Airport. And despite all that, its affordability is fantastic for those who want to buy and rent in Stockport which means we think it's got loads of potential. Lots of investment is planned for Stockport. We're talking billions of pounds, and that's gonna absolutely transform the area. So while people, and rightly so, will talk about Manchester and Salford, they should also include Stockport as part of their conversation. All right, I can't improve on that, so I'm gonna play a completely different game and name as an underrated investment area, London. Now, London is a city you've probably heard of. It's the capital of the UK. There's quite a bit going on in London. How has it made a list of underrated areas? Well, clearly this isn't always the case, but at the moment, all the news about London is bad. 
London for the last couple of years has consistently been one of the worst performing areas in terms of house price growth. It's outperformed by the Midlands, the Northwest, the Northeast, just about everywhere else. And rents over the last year have plummeted in the region of about 10%. So why does that make London somewhere you should consider investing in? Well, it doesn't in itself, but it means that there are opportunities that may end up getting overlooked. The strength of London is that it is the nation's capital. It is an international city. Demand to live in London will always be strong. So that means if you have the chance to get in and get a good deal at a good location at a time when no one else is bidding against you, in other words, because everyone else is temporarily underrating it, then it could be an opportunity to do very well over the long term. Over the next, say, five years, there are plenty of areas that will outperform. But if you're looking for a 20, 30 year investment, London would serve you well. So now, of course, London is a very big place. You can't generalize about it. There are going to be some areas that are very much overpriced. There'll be some areas that are never quite going to get there. But there'll be others that are just on the verge of doing great things. And if you can get in there now while no one else is really looking, it might not be a bad idea. So while we're not investing in London right now, it's somewhere that we're keeping our eye on for the first time in a very long time. And for that reason, it's managed to sneak onto our list of underrated areas. So as a property investor, it's always easy to follow the crowd. Invest in the buzzy hotspot that everyone's talking about. And you know what? Sometimes that'll work out for you. But if you've got there too late, you may have missed the party. Whereas if you look for areas that have all the fundamentals, are the areas we've listed great transport links great employment levels and great prospects for the future then you can get ahead of the curve it does require a bit more bravery but if you do your research and you've got confidence as well then why not check out one of those areas on our list and the other thing you should check out is the subscription button because we've got loads of videos like this that are going to help you out and we do not want you to miss any of them so make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on another property video from us